Hi everyone and welcome to the latest edition of Pompey Women Vlogs. Today we're off to Ringwood Town for Bournemouth versus Pompey Women in the Hampshire Cup. Okay, great to have you back for another vlog. Yeah. Um, this week we get a break from league action, that relentless title pursuit that Pompey women are in. Bit of a break today yeah. and we've got some cup games coming up. So yeah, first of all, today's game, Bournemouth away in the mm -hmm. Hampshire Cup semi-final. A competition Pompey have won, what, 13 times in a row now? So yeah. we've got a rich history in this competition. Um, we're going to be looking to progress to the final today. So we're going to talk about more about the fixture and see the lineup and stuff when we get there. But for now... Let's uh, look at our little travel montage. Mm -hmm. So we've arrived at uh, Ringwood FC. Yeah. So yeah, we've been here before, haven't we, Abby? Yeah, early we in the have. season, Abby played for Pompey Girls against Bournemouth Girls here early in the season. So yeah, we knew where it was. That's a lovely day, isn't it? Oh, maybe the well. weather's finally turning. Yeah. yeah, we've just arrived, Abby. What are your thoughts on today's game? So Bournemouth, um, we played them in the final last year, didn't we? Mm. So what are your thoughts on today's game? Well, I mean. Even though Bournemouth are below us, they're always up for the fight. And also, I think one major thing is that they've got quite a few Pompey, ex-Pompey players. So, Yeah, so they play in the division below, but they're a very, very good side in that division. Yeah. And they've got a strong squad. And every time we play them, they give us a good game. Mm -hmm. So um, if there's one thing we can't do today, it's underestimate them. Yeah. Um, because if you underestimate teams like Bournemouth in games like this, especially on their own turf, you're going to lose the game. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. So we've got to be on it. Uh, and Jay's picked a strong side to reflect that today. So should we have a look to see what our starting eleven is? In goal, we've got Hannah Horton, then Nicole Barrett, Jazz Younger, Captain Dan Rowe, Ella Wild, Ava Robotham, Taylor McDonald, Annie Rolfe, Tierney Scott, Ali Hall and Ella Humphrey. On the bench, we've got Izzy Collins, Danny Lane, Sophie Quirk, Leanne Bell and Anaya Harney. So that's our starting eleven today. Abby, any thoughts? Um, it's a really good side, but if things don't go our way, we've got a really strong bench. Yeah, very strong. Yeah, like Sophie, just to name, I mean, the whole bench is strong, but, you know, when you've got Sophie Quirk, arguably the best player in Tier 3 this season, uh, and Leanne Bell, players like that on the bench, you know, just the whole bench is so riddled with quality. So if the game's not going our way, those play, every single one of those players on the bench can change the game. So that's an in, yeah, and then we've got like Ella Humphrey starting. She was very good when she came on against Plymouth last week. So yeah, excited for this one. Um, I love it when we play at grounds like this. This is, this is our cup it. of tea, isn't it? I Right, let's see how the girls get on in the first half. Hello, 
I'm not yelling. Keep going, head up, keep going. Go on, take your in. Okay, half time here, Bournemouth one, Pompey nil. What a rip for such a frustrating half. Yeah. We can't get our passing game going. The ref's doing us no favours. He's absolutely shocking. Missing that penalty in the, in the opening minutes didn't do us any favours. I feel like we've reduced our game to their level. I mean, they, they're obviously they play in the tier below. You wouldn't expect them to be technically as good as us, but you know, they're not, they're actually probably not at times knocking it about better than we are. Yeah. Um, they're well up for it, of course they are. This would be probably the biggest start in their club's history if they beat us. So they're well up for this. Yeah. Abby, what are your thoughts? I mean, it's just frustrating because, I mean, they're looking better than us. And I think I think we can hopefully score another a goal. I mean, we're very attacking. We've got a lot of the ball in their half, so... Yeah, we've had a lot of the ball, but there's no... there's no We're not getting enough bodies forward, so we're constantly breaking. I mean, Ella down the wing has been brilliant. Probably our player of the match so far. She's getting a lot of the ball down the wing, but then there's so little support for her. We've got three central midfielders. I don't know, you know, they're not getting up quick enough. Ali Hall is therefore her only target or the wing on the other side. So when the cross comes in, if Ali can't win it or it overshoots to Tierney, then that, that's it. Then they just boot it. They get the ball and they're exactly. booting it out again because there's no pressure from the three. We've got three midfielders. There's no edge of the box pressure to stop them just hoofing it clear again. And time and time again, wing, cross, boot, wing, cross, exactly. boot out. And that, that's just how it's happened. I mean, I say we went close with the header off the bar, but yeah. overall we're just, we need to commit more numbers forward, trust our defenders and commit those. We're free and centre mid. You, you've got enough bodies in there to commit players forward. I mean, it took, like in the last minute of the half, Annie Rolf made a good run forward, but we've just not seen enough of that. Um, we've got to come out and be more positive or you know if we come out and reduce ourselves down to sort of booting it and getting involved in the mind games and shouting at the ref because he's crap then you know they're just going to see the game out they're going to go down they'll time waste uh, and then before you know it's full time and we've lost so we need to come out and go straight on the front foot and an early goal for us will completely change this game so let's see how they get on in the second half
So it's a couple of days later since the game. Um, I've been really busy with work and we haven't really had chance to... At the end of the game, we just wanted to get out of there because it actually was um, quite a hostile crowd. We made a we made a quickish, quickish exit. Um, we yeah. decided to do the wrap up at home. What we decided to do is just leave it a couple of days so we could sort of talk about our, our thoughts on the result. Um, because it was a really disappointing result yeah. and we wanted a chance to think about that rather than just sort of you know go off on one and with with emotion rather than actually having our heads yeah. our heads screwed on properly there's no getting around for it that is it's a very very disappointing result um one of the most disappointing results of uh, jay's tenure as manager if not the most disappointing result um these happen i think with our summer recruitment, we were vulnerable to these type of results. It was um, something I alluded to at the start of the season with so many young players coming in. Uh, and some of them um, playing their first years in adult football. You've got to expect that there's going to be, you know, your classic Tuesday night away games mm -hmm. in Stoke sort of meme. Um, those games are really difficult for younger, newer players. Um, not wanting to make excuses for them. It's just a fact. We have to accept that with a new young team, that we're going to have results like this. Yeah, we're going to have some amazing results where they play fearlessly and we beat teams perhaps we shouldn't, but there's also going to be results like this. And it's important as a fan base that we understand that and we support them and we get behind them. Um, looking at the lineup, I mean, Abby, what was there anything you noticed on the day that might be a reason why the result didn't go our way? I mean not having a great ref and their fans that I think they might have just got to the girl's head a bit and we never really just managed to just like sit down and like play our football we just we just looked a bit out of line and they yeah I think your first point the ref the ref was absolutely abysmal um he's easily up there with one of the worst referees I've ever seen at a game he completely lost control of both sides from probably about 10 minutes in I think the hostility of the crowd and the coaches getting on him and the players, um, the players sense a weak ref and they get on their back really mm. quick. And I said that happened within probably 10 minutes um, when when he didn't give the handball to Pompey from that. He lost the players from that minute onwards because it was so obvious. Yeah, he didn't give it. And that was it. It was all downhill mm. from there. He was appalling all day. Um You've got to find a way to overcome that. Bournemouth did. They overcome it and mm. still won the game. So you can't use that as an excuse. But I definitely agree with you the crowd. The crowd was a weird one. There was a group of lads in the stand who were singing. They were actually fine. They were just getting behind the girls. Yeah. They were doing their job. But there's a real nasty element around the sort of, not the tunnel, but the, the pathway area there's to like off the pitch. There's like a line of people. Next to, the, next to where the like big fan base was, There's like there was this row of people. I think all of that, got to the players that the, mm. the hostile atmosphere the poor ref the fact we just couldn't get our game going it all got to the players and it was mm. just a bit much for them <sighs> where do we go from here we've got to get behind the girls yeah they've had a brilliant season obviously it's disappointing that's the first time in 13 years uh 13 hampshire cup wins in a row that record's over now we have to accept that we have to learn from it and move on it's football. You're not entitled to win every game. I feel we underestimated the game. Yeah. Uh, I think we we had nine players who have zero to little Hampshire Cup experience. Our better players were actually Dan Rowe, who was very experienced. Jazz was also excellent, although mm. she did get Simbin, but she was excellent. Yeah. Um, and I think Ella Humphrey is a Portsmouth fan. Mm. Even though she's cast as a youngster, a Portsmouth fan gets it. Yeah. The Hampshire Cup is a volatile competition. We're, we have, we're the top seeds in it. We have target on our head. And I just don't think we were prepared for that. Mm. I, I don't think we realised quite how big a game this was for Bournemouth. A huge game for them. Um, so it's our job to get behind the players now. They've been exceptional this season. Um, if anything, you might say with so many new players coming in, we've overachieved so far. Yeah. And um, we're still in the league title with five games to go. That's a m unbelievable. First time I've ever experienced that. And they need our support. While they learn, they develop, and they inevitably slip up, they need our support, don't they? Yeah. Um, five big League Cup finals to go and see what they can do. But thanks for joining us. Um, Thank you. 
you know, if you're interested in our thoughts, I mean, I'm sure some of you have stayed to listen to that. Um, if not, well, you're not here, but it's, it's not a problem. <laughs> um, I know some people have sort of approached me after the game and sort of said, oh, what is what does that mean in context? It, was that really a bad result? Or mm. So, you know, it's, it's good to just explain how we feel that is in, in the context of things. Yes, it was a bad result, but not completely unexpected, and we need to get behind the girls. That would be my sort of ultimate wrap-up. Yeah. Right, so we will hopefully be back next. Not the girls don't play this weekend. The uh, reserves are in the plate final. The following week, we have got Billericay away, so we're going to be there. Abby's got Pompey training. Yeah. Gonna maybe yeah. Uh, train. Don't need to train headers though. Abby scored two headers last weekend. Yeah. From both direct from corners, putting the uh, Maguire slab to good use, Abby. You proud of your headers? Yeah, I'm proud. Yeah, it was good girls. It's nice to score. I really wanted to get a hat trick, but it didn't happen. So I think when she got her second, you lost your head a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. You started trying a bit too try hard and found mm -hmm. yourself chasing the ball rather than keeping your positions. But yeah, thanks for joining us as Thank ever. You. And yeah, we'll see you next time.